Dating can be tough, whether it comes naturally to you or not. Understanding the psychology of people, especially if they're new to you, can be challenging, especially when you're trying to make a good impression yourself. Add to this that many traditional dating rules have changed or evolved, and it's easy to get confused. Therefore, in this video, we give you some easy to apply rules for dating that will not only help you come across as you want to, but are in keeping with the times. Number 1. Text away First of all, don't do this on an actual date, seeing as you're there in person with your date and your phone should be of secondary importance. However, while in the past texting was often frowned upon when dating, today it's one of the most common forms of communication and is completely acceptable to do. Be wary of how you use text though, as it's difficult to read the tone and emotion in text and can be easily misunderstood so it's best to keep it to casual conversation and the odd jokes. Any deeper conversation should either be done by calling or in person, but the more important it's being the better it is to try and make it face to face. Number 2. Understand Chivalry Traditionally, a man would be the one to ask the woman out on a date and would be the one to pay for the date, which is still commonly the case and often appreciated by women. However, it's also true to say that we live in a society where men don't always have to take the lead and it's quite common to split bills or for women to ask the men out. Therefore, if you're a man taking a woman out, it's worth reading the situation as best you can. Offer to show kindness and chivalry with holding doors open and pulling out her chair. It's no less charming today than it was 10 years ago. On the bill, Offer to pay it up front and if your date insists on splitting it, don't worry about doing so, as you've done the initial part of offering. Number 3. Do something you both enjoy In the past, a date was a formal occasion to go out somewhere, usually a restaurant where you got to spend time together and learn about your date. Today, it's still common practice to do this, but you aren't restricted on what you do for a date. Go for a coffee, go to a restaurant, movies or even shopping, it's really what interests you both. Some even stay at home to watch TV or a movie in a more intimate setting. The point is, rather than thinking too much about what you're doing, think about how you feel during the time about the other person and whether they share similar interests and enjoy doing the same things as you do. Number 4. Don't overthink Often, dating has been challenging in part because people would think too much about when and where to go for date, trying to work out a schedule that gives you time to prepare and when both people are available. Today's world is much more casual, by which I mean people are much more open to just going out and having some fun without trying too hard to portray themselves in a certain way. That gives you great opportunities to have more spontaneous dates, where if you're doing something you think the other person might like, don't hesitate to drop a quick text or call to ask if they're free. The more casual setting works in your favour too, as you get to see each other in a more realistic light, how someone might be day to day. Number 5. Don't play games People try to play psychological games and often it tends to backfire, as it's incredibly hard to do and requires a deep understanding of the other person and their individual personality. Therefore, I always suggest to avoid playing games, don't be too calculating in how you approach a relationship, as not only will it appear ingenuine, but you'll appear less confident when you aren't to your natural state. Instead, focus on enjoying your time together developing a bond and progressing through your relationship together in a partnership, not individually. Find the right partner and the relationship will blossom naturally, potentially leading to something more serious and perhaps even for a long term future. Do you agree with the rules outlined here or have more to add? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.